Hi everyone, this video is primarily for students taking my digital literacy course at Oklahoma City University, but it could be useful for anyone who is trying to include a screenshot into a document or email. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the snipping tool on a PC to take a screenshot, how to paste that screenshot into a Word document, and then how to save that document and upload it into a D2L course Dropbox. Note that this tutorial is just for PC computers, so if you're on a Mac, you'll have to use a slightly different process. On PC computers, there is a little program most people don't know about called the Snipping Tool. You can access the Snipping Tool by clicking on the Start menu down here in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, and then either clicking right on the Snipping Tool link if it appears, or if it doesn't, searching for Snipping Tool in the search box, and then clicking on that tool to open it. Now once you click on the snipping tool in the start menu, the tool opens right up and allows you to start taking a screenshot. A screenshot, of course, being a picture of all or part of what's visible on your computer screen. Now you'll notice that the snipping tool pop-up window here says, drag the cursor around the area you want to capture. So that's what we're going to do. So let's say I want to take a screenshot of this particular module here on my screen. I do that by clicking my mouse, and notice it's kind of in a little plus sign. I click it here on the upper left-hand corner of that module, and then while holding the mouse down, I drag to the bottom right-hand corner of the area, and you'll notice that now the area I was wanting to screenshot is kind of in full color while everything else is still a ghosted color, and then I release the mouse. This is going to bring up another window where I can see that little part of my screen that I just snipped. From here, I can do a lot of different things with this little picture, including writing on it or saving it in a variety of formats. But for digital literacy, all you really need to do at this point is copy this picture to your computer's clipboard so that you can paste it into a document in a moment. So to do that, we're going to go up here to the Edit menu right there and select Copy. Now, even though we can't see anything, that picture has been copied to our computer's clipboard. So now I can open up a new Word document. I happen to have one right here. And then I can paste the picture into the document. To paste, I first click to make sure my mouse cursor is where I want it. And then I can either press the Control and V keys at the same time, or I can right click and select the paste option, which is this little clipboard, like this. This, as you can see, will move the image from my computer's imaginary clipboard into this document. And as a side note, you could use that same process to paste the image into an email if you wanted to do that. Now, I just need to save my document so that I can re-upload it into a D2L course. To do that, I select the File menu, and then select Save. I choose the location where I want my file to go. For now, I'm going to go to Computer and then put it on the desktop. I give it a title. I'm going to call this Screenshot Practice. And then click Save. Now I've taken a screenshot, pasted it into a document, and saved that document to my computer. For the final step, I'm going to upload this document into a Dropbox in my D2L course. So here I am in the Digital Literacy course. I'm going to quickly navigate to the Dropbox assignment link that I need to submit to. So for this example, I'll click on Content. I'll go to Week 1. I'm going to scroll down to take a screenshot, any screenshot. From here, I can drag and drop my file right here in this little Drop Files area, or I can click the Upload button find my file here on the desktop, click Open, then scroll down just a little bit and click Submit to Dropbox. Now you can see I get a little well done message, it's been uploaded, and I have completed that portion of the assignment. 